top three ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, welcome back to the 24th edition of the top three ghost series. For years mankind has been wondering about phenomena of an inexplicable, paranormal nature. We will try to analyze three truly disturbing cases that will leave us breathless and without answers. If you are new to the channel and you like this content do not forget to subscribe and leave a like if you want us to continue with this work. Get comfortable then, let's start with our ranking towards the third position. The Ghost of the Sick Child A very sad story lingers in the video in third position. We are in England where a famous urban explorer named Colin on September 25, 2021 publishes one of the scariest videos of his career on his YouTube channel entitled The Bearded Explorer. Completely alone, he goes to an old abandoned hospital in the 1800, where children with very serious infectious diseases were hospitalized. At the end of the 70s the hospital turned into hell, the children were abandoned due to an economic collapse and the building was permanently closed. Goodness me, this is super, super creepy. Wow, this is so cool. Look at all of the furniture in here. They must have left everything here. All the old beds as well, everything's still here. And look, there's some mirrors on those back ones there. After a few minutes of exploration, Colin begins to shiver with fear because he begins to hear strange sounds and noises of footsteps. Surprised it's still here. Normally they bring these places down like... <gasps> What's that? Oh, I'm hearing noises in there now. That wasn't nice. Oh. It sounded like footsteps. That was really creepy. That was really creepy. Colin starts looking for where these noises are coming from. In comments, users note a dark shadow appearing a few moments down the hall as Colin walks. But then... You know, it's an empty, disused building. There's probably all sorts of animals and things in here. Yeah, who knows? Badgers, foxes, birds. The completely dilapidated, dark and very dangerous place is chock full of rubble, suspended glass and antique furniture and Colin continues the exploration unaware that the place is starting to show phenomena of a paranormal nature. Look how that door is like dilapidated. as well. One more big, no, two more big rooms to look in, actually. After exploring most of the building, Colin continues to hear strange noises and something really dangerous happens. Hello? Oh, fuck it. What the hell was that? An iron bar falls down the stairs and shortly thereafter small knocks are heard on the wood that literally terrify Colin.
And things go from bad to worse because Colin goes back into the central corridor and something scary literally makes him run away from that place. A childlike figure that Colin claims to be the ghost of a child watching him in the distance in the corridor. We don't know what or who that figure was in the distance, whether it was a simple game of mirrors, or lights, we know for sure that this is a place that has seen many dead, so what have we seen? Let me know your opinion below in the comments. Manifestations to Disturb In second position we find an interesting case due to its peculiarities, an old American man completely inexperienced in TikTok, has published some videos on his Facebook page following some paranormal manifestations that were happening in his old home where he lives completely alone. Noises in the night, clear EVPs, and poltergeists are just some of the incidents that have occurred in his property so let's watch two particularly interesting videos, the first published on August 20, 2021 on his TikTok channel entitled, Dude My House Is Hunted, which today has 22 videos published. Okay. You know, I've seen this cabinet before but it hasn't opened since the last time I recorded it opening because I walked into the kitchen to the refrigerator and I was walking past it and I got about right here and it went and opened behind me and scared the crap and it got my heart thumping let's put it that way because <laughs> you don't expect that sound as you're walking by and so close to you but it hasn't it hasn't opened since and I can jump up and down and it won't open I don't I'm banging on the floor and it still won't open anymore I don't know that's weird and the refrigerator's been making a god-awful noise it used to make another god-awful noise like the fan bearings were screeching and it was just such a loud whistle sometimes I just unplug it but sometimes I could unplug it and plug it back in and it would stop doing it but now it's making this whoa Okay, see, I, I didn't even move. I wasn't even moving. That's the first time that's happened since the last time. Okay, it's it's got to be a bad bearing, but I wasn't moving. Look at that. It's closed, and there's nothing on the edge. There's nothing on the edge that would, like here on this edge that would push it out and there's the magnet clip see that that snaps closed <sighs> all right Fuck, see that's the freaking noise <laughs> oh my freaking god all right after clearly documenting the extraordinary and disturbing phenomenon, the man is frightened by the refrigerator which shows a strange object in the upper part of the fridge, an object that in the other video he will explain not knowing or understanding where it could come from. Let's now see another video still in the same room that was posted on August 24, 2021, this time shot by the internal security camera. But when I reviewed the video, uh, the mist terrified me and I was considering moving. Um, this was well before I caught the shadow in the hallway that's like seven feet tall. Um, and I'm starting to believe that this is probably Miss Potter because you'll see how short the mist is and then it moves into the hallway. See? And then it moves back into the hallway and sweeps around the corner. 
and that reminded me of the video I posted, the haul video that caught the dust flying by and then the mist goes by and all of a sudden the dust disappears. And this video is the fourth part of a recording where a white mist clearly appears that seems to move from the kitchen towards the corridor and then disappear in the last door on the left. You can find all the videos on the author's TikTok channel. Analyzing this fog, the coloring, movement and entry into the room do not show nuances or inconsistencies with the environment Oh, it is really difficult to understand if we are in front of an hoax or if it is a real entity trapped on video. Surely this is an interesting case that should be analyzed by some paranormal investigator. Ghosts and Eternal Holiday in first place this week goes a serious paranormal investigation addressed by the core phenomena research group formed by four investigators Liza, Margie, Josh and John at the Frogtown Inn Hotel located in Pennsylvania in the Pocono Mountains region, a destination for many tourists thanks to the excellent restaurant and local cuisine. The testimonies of numerous customers, however, tell of dark shadows, strange voices and real nocturnal apparitions that seem to be concentrated in room number 6. Posted on January 15, 2012 in the YouTube channel Green Boy 72 the video also shows the interview made to the owners of the hotel. Room 6 seems to be the place where we have the most activity. Um, the girls who clean there repeatedly have found coins on the floor. Um, they find coins, they pick them up and put them away, go downstairs, get towels, come back up in the room and find more coins on the floor. Um, the other issue that we have in that room is we've never been able to get a clock to work. Um, we've changed the clocks out probably a half a dozen times. At one point in time we had a digital clock with the hour and the minute and we went into the room and the minutes were spinning like it was a, a second hand. Um, and the TV in that room comes on and off by itself and we've replaced the TV several times and we replaced the power cord. Um, a close personal friend was staying in the room, in the sitting room, in the sleeper area, and at 3 a.m. the TV came blasting on. And on several occasions, I've gone up just to do a walkthrough of the end when there have been no guests here, and the TV's on in that room as well. So those are the biggest issues. Then we had, oh, I would say probably six months ago, so we're talking sometime in the early spring, January, February time frame, um, we had a guest in that room who came down at breakfast, and I... I jokingly ask people, how was your room last night, knowing that we've had some issues in that room. And this woman said, why do you ask? And I said, well, we say that that's the haunted room. And she said, okay, I wasn't going to say anything. However, I did see something. And she described sitting in bed, lights were on, she was reading, and a figure of some type came from the right side of the room and floated across to the left side of the room. She described it as a very young woman sharp features, thin, long, curly, dark hair in um, a white gown. She didn't know if it was a dressing gown, a nightgown, a wedding gown. She said it was not um, angry or malicious in any way. It just kind of was there and then left. And then probably about two months later, the entire inn was filled with guests for a wedding at Skytop. And the morning after the wedding, everyone came down from, for breakfast and one of the guests who was in room three, which is on the second floor, downstairs from room six, said that she saw something. Um, she woke up in the middle of the night and looked up and there was a figure standing at the bottom of her bed. And she said, same description as the previous, young woman, thin, dark features, long curly hair. And, you know, she said she just woke up and she was kind of dazed and she looked and she was still kind of asleep. So she nudged her husband and when she looked back, it was gone. The same night, the people in room one, which is right next door to room three, mm -hmm. um, described hearing noises. And they had a small child who was on the sleeper sofa in the sitting room, and they thought she was running around in the sitting room area. So they went up to quiet her down, and she was sound asleep. There was nothing there. So those were the, those were the most vivid um, sightings, or I don't even know how to describe what they are, but the, the things that have happened here that we can describe. The group begins to observe room number 6 by taking several photographs, where a really large and strange orb is detected. It starts, could be reflection off of the doorknob, but take the same picture and it's not okay. there. Yeah, so it's not reflection. <laughs> There's some there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Right there. Yeah. There. I'll wait. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not reflection. 
No, because you'd have it in every photo for the most part. It would be somewhere. Mm -hmm. That's why I said it followed you in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was in front there, too. See it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Even the detector of electromagnetic waves K2, following clear questions scanned by voice, begins to show signs of activity. You can talk to us, it's okay. We're not here to harm you. <gasps> the group, analyzing the photos also discovers that there are really very high dark shadows that seem to float in the room. But it's recently, Exactly on September 22, 2021 and the user of the social tit talk named Tay Chibs, usually used to posting contents of a tourist or personal life nature, this time posted a video where she and her partner are at interior of the Frogtown Hill restaurant and something happens that literally leaves them stunned. From the statements of the couple, the glass moved by itself, but there was no trace of water or drops on the table that could have made it slide. The hotel staff also released the footage of the security cameras upon request, being already aware of the strange phenomena occurring in this hotel. Furthermore, the girl no longer mentioned the episode on her channel, nor did she deal with other topics of a paranormal nature, being highly skeptical. Here too we do not know how to issue a final verdict, Based on the numerous testimonies however we can declare that something persists over time and manifests itself in many ways. For today our episode ends here, thank you for watching and I renew the invitation to follow us on our social networks and on our channel to find out about the new releases, we will see you as usual next Saturday with a new episode of the series, good night.